Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to explain coverlet integration using XUnit. These are the topic names, which I will cover one by one in this video. Topics are Setup required for coverlet integration Unit test result Code coverage Coverage output Code coverage report generate Merging result Threshold Excluding from coverage Let's start with setup requirement. So here the coverlet doesn't require any additional setup other than including the NuGet package in the unit test project. It integrates with the .NET test infrastructure built into the .NET Core CLI and when enabled, will automatically generate coverage results after tests are run. For unit test result, we need to execute .NET test command. Now, let's see the example. Here I have taken a solution where I have already added the XUnit project. Then now do the right click on the XUnit solution and select open in terminal. Here we can see the developer PowShell window has open. So now execute .NET test command. In result window, you can see how many test files are executed and how many total methods are executed with passed and failed. Now we will understand the code coverage. Code coverage is a metric that we can use to understand how well our code is covered by tests. These metrics are usually discovered by code analysis tools that run through our source code lines and cross-reference them against the tests that hit these various code paths. Enabling code coverage is as simple as setting the collect coverage property to true. Two things we need to process code coverage. One, install coverlet, MS build package from NuGet. Two, command, .NET test slash p, Collect coverage equals true. After the above command is run, a coverage, JSON file containing the results will be generated in the root directory of the test project. A summary of the results will also be displayed in the terminal. Let's check with an example. Here I am going to install coverlet MS build package from NuGet. Right click on your project, then select Manage NuGet packages. Then search coverlet, MS build package. Now click on the install button. In developer PowerShell, execute .NET test slash p, collect coverage equals true command. In result, we can see the code coverage details, i.e. project-wise getting the result of line coverage, branch coverage, and method coverage. You can see a coverage, JSON file will auto-generate. Here we can see the coverage details.
Coverlet can generate coverage results in multiple formats, which is specified using the Coverlet output format property. For example, the following command emits coverage results in the open cover format. .NET test slash p collect coverage equals true slash p coverlet output format equals open cover. Supported formats. JSON default. Okav. Open cover. Cobertura. Team City. You can specify multiple output formats by separating them with a comma, comma symbol. The output of the coverage result can be specified using the coverlet output property. Command is .NET test slash p collect coverage equals true slash p coverlet output equals slash result JSON. Let's check with an example. Here I am going to execute all supported file format one by one for code coverage. Please check the commands and the related generated files.
Next, we will learn the report generation of code coverage. The Coverlet MS Build task sets the Coverlet Report MS Build item so that you can easily use the produced coverage reports. For example, using Report Generator to generate an HTML coverage report. Command used. .NET test, no build. Output bin backslash debug backslash netcarab 3.1. Collect xplat code coverage. For installing report generator, run following command. .NET tool install, g.net report generator global tool. Run following command for report generation. Report generator, reports, asterisk, asterisk, slash coverage, coberturet, XML, targeter, coverage reports, report types, cobertura or HTML. Let's check with an example. Open your terminal window. Execute the first command. .NET test, no build. Output bin backslash debug backslash netcarab 3.1. After execution, we will get the total of passed and failed test cases. Then execute the second command for installing the report generator. .NET tool install, g.net report generator global tool. Now execute your third command to generating code coverage report. You can see a coverage report folder is generated in XML format. Now execute the report generator command for HTML report. Then open your folder in Folder Explorer and open the indexed HTML file in Google Chrome. Here we can see the line and branch coverage percentages are described in header part, and the class-wise coverage details are defined in body. Here you can track uncovered lines and branch coverage. Red outlines indicate the uncovered lines or branch coverage, and the green outlines are the covered lines. In this video, I covered setup requirement, unit test result, code coverage, coverage output, code coverage report generate topics. So, rest of the topics I will cover in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like my content, please subscribe to my channel.